so I'm doing my first sample. Um, this is the bed where the honeysuckle is. I don't grow vegetables in this bed at all. It's um, not a raised bed and it's got the orig original garden soil in it. sample. So the first sample that I took was um, over the other side of the garden and it's the only part of the garden that's got the original soil in it. I wanted to do that sample because it represents what I was growing in over the past five years and hopefully it, the results will explain why there were so many problems. The second sample which I'm about to take now is um, the new soil. Um, but it's from the raised bed that had the raspberries in because it's had the least amount of amendments. All the other um, raised beds I've been um, boosting um, over the last few weeks having identified some issues. Um, but this particular bed is dormant so I'm just going to take a sample of that and that will identify hopefully the reasons why um, I started to get more problems. This is sample number two. So my samples are all bagged up. I'm going to post them this afternoon. I think it says it takes about 28 days to get a result. I'll get that as an email. Um, so fingers crossed we get some answers. Well, good morning. Look at that. A few weeks ago I thought I was losing all of these, but they look fantastic now, and they're starting to produce their first flowers here, so I'm very happy about that. I've also discovered my first Golden Gate bean. more flowers. Even more a thrill. Look at those pongo. So I'm going to be doing some harvesting in a minute. I've even got my first cobra. I missed that one. So I've decided I'm going to do my first potato reveal. These are the pent and javelin. These are the ones that were in my triage area um, outside the garden. It's been incredibly hot 
and they've been watered a great deal, but I think they've probably suffered in the heat, but we'll see. Well, it's not as dry as I thought it was going to be. And um, there's some of the potatoes on the side already. Oh, they're lovely. Look at those. Lovely, clean um, flesh, no scab. Oh, this is a lot drier in the middle. Lots of tiny ones. And they're the ones that if you leave them in the ground, you end up with volunteer potatoes the following year. Yeah, it's quite dry in places. But the weather's been exceptional. I think that might be it. But yeah, it's not bad, considering. So I don't think that's too bad for my little garden, so. I've got these broad beans, I've got a whopper of a courgette, my Lola Rosso lettuce, these potatoes, Pentland Javelin, and then in here I've got my Pongo, Kent Blue, I've got two those aside. Two cobra and some strawberries. I've just shelled all of these broad beans and I've got one pound 11.3 ounces so close to two pounds and then let's weigh the courgette one pound one ounce. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get that big. So I've got homegrown veg, that's pongo beans, Kent blue peas, courgettes, the carrots are Tesco's, mine aren't ready yet. Dauphinois potatoes from the garden and a butterfly chicken with a leek and cheese sauce. 